hello guys my name is cj zika and i want to welcome you to my youtube channel um today we're going to be making this project you see here we're going to be making a a a, a, a single page web application e-commerce website where we can actually ask uh list the items we are selling here and um anytime we click on an item uh, it's supposed to be registered in this shopping cart here but we're not going to add in that functionality the main purpose of this project is to have to create a futurable form with javascript so that in the front end of your web application you can have a futurable form here where you can search out for items you want for example let's say kivla kivla vest and uh it comes out and you click on this x button your search is cancelled and it returns you to the original page and um also when you make a selection and then you clear the field it still returns you to the original page and then this uh, transition you see here, this uh, in and out effect you see here uh, is done with JavaScript. Now, this video, I'm going to make it in two parts. And also, we have pagination here, and it's what's for the purpose of styling. It's not going to be taking us to anywhere. And again, when we search for an item, let's say, uh, let's say for T, the pagination uh, is hidden, the display is none. So, we're going to be doing all that with JavaScript. Put the link. At the description as my code pane where you can copy the project or to my github repository where you can uh you can download the zip file or clone it to your local machine i think that is it we can actually start coding um guys before we start um i really appreciate that a lot if you will hit that subscribe button below and like the video and um okay drop off a comment as well if there are ways you know you think that i can improve the video please uh let me know I would appreciate that a lot okay let's let's start coding okay i'm on vs code and um this and this here our images the airport cart and our svg icons we have not made any index html yet but we're gonna do that right now so uh, let's start. Let's create our index HTML, our CSS, style.css, and our JavaScript, main.js, which we're going to be using in the next video. All right. All right. I'm going to turn this select language mode to HTML because I've been working on. We're working on Django of late. And this is actually a part of a project uh, for my Django course that I'm working on. Which is uh, which is uh, the completion of this e-commerce blog. Alright, let's start. Let's start with this boilerplate. I'm going to name it store. And we're going to bring in our CSS here. Link CSS. Uh, that's gonna be style dot CSS. Okay, I'm gonna be referencing my second screen that contains the okay that contains the code for the completed project. All right, we're gonna make a main container within the body, a div with a class of main container. And let me give it a comment of header okay i'm gonna make a div uh, with a class of header another div title then text ecom Now let me open my live server. All right. What is our completed project? Okay. All is working well. Let's proceed. Um, guys, I think I will try to be very fast with this so that we can, so we don't spend too much time on it. Uh, the next one I'm going to make underneath the title is going to be a navbar. 
a div with a class of number a ul element a ul tag ladder rather a li an anchor tag that will take us to a link that will take us to nowhere but the same page i'm gonna duplicate it holding alternate shift down arrow key that's our vs code shortcut we're done with that next one is going to be auth beneath the navbar now the authentication stand for auth stand for authentication i think you get the idea because those uh login sign off functionality which i'm going to be adding with the django is the reason why we got the auth class in the first place i think that's self-explanatory uh, are you lm are you l tag li gonna call it login duplicate sign up okay underneath the link we're gonna make a cat image it gives the class of cat image so i might just be calling the class name and not even as specifying it is div most of the time because we are literally working with div here I just chose that option because I want uh, I want this stuff to be consistent. Next one is gonna be cut. Within it is gonna be cut counter. An anchor tag leading us to the same page. Within that is gonna be an image where source of cut board. Alternate display of cat icon. Underneath the image con now we missed a step here. Underneath the cat counter, we're gonna have an image container class. image container okay then i'm gonna bring this this guy up here so i'm gonna hold the alternate key and press the up arrow key that's a, a vs code shortcut again then underneath the image container we're gonna have a, a class for counter Within the counter class, we're gonna have an anchor tag. I'm gonna leave it at zero. And this is what this is gonna do. When you add an item to the cart, this zero is gonna update to one. For as many as as many icons, uh, sorry, items you add to the cart, this indicator here is gonna show that to you. All right. Okay, the next one is gonna be our our menu that's going to be beneath cat counter gonna have an image with a source of uh yeah menu svg the an svg icon do call it menu icon Looking consistent. Let's see what we got. So far, so good. The next one is gonna uh, we're gonna deal with here is the section. That's gonna be underneath the header. All right, that's gonna be here. Uh, let's first of all put a comment here. Okay, we're gonna get our section div and we need to gonna have our search box. You can already guess what that's gonna be there for. That's for this search input here. 
So within search box, we're gonna have a search div class. Within that, we're gonna have our input of type text because we're gonna have certain text of class search. Mm, I think we should give it an idea of search as well. I did that in the first in the first project. Then a placeholder of search items. Okay, I think I've gotten that one out of the way. Underneath it is gonna be the another input of type button. With class of BTN, a boots uh, boots bootstrap class got capital letter X as the value. Now let's go back to our finished project. When I put something in here, it's actually this option here, this button here. Okay, um, I think we're done with that. Then underneath the search box, we're gonna have our section holder. Div of section holder. Within that, it's gonna be section container. Within that, let's put a comment here for our product. Dot product container. We're gonna have an image which is actually our pro uh, product image. Images slash airport, that's the first item I think we've got there. Airport 4.png. Alternate is gonna be airport. Airport image. Okay, underneath that, we're gonna have another div for the name of the product. And we're gonna call this one, uh, what did we call it here again? We're gonna call it product name. And these are some long class names we got here. Maybe in other videos, I'm gonna try to shorten the names. All right, so the next one is gonna be okay. We have we have not added text. I'll oh, call this one air pods. Yeah, and then after that, we're gonna have underneath it um product action price. Within that, we're going to have a cat view class. Underneath that, uh, we're going to have an add cat class. Uh, dot add cat dash add to cat. And a cut tag within that, that's going to take us to the same page. And we're going to write here add to cat. And happy shopping. <laughs> okay, that one aside, I've got another one with a class of view underneath at cart. It's gonna be an anchor tag taking us to the same page, and we're gonna say view. All right, that one aside, next is gonna be. Uh, so that's going to be the price, and that's going to be underneath the cut view class. So at cut view div. It's called price. Oh, no need to do this one. Okay. It's going to be $75. And uh, the cent is going to be, going to put it in a span. So let me go back and remove this space. Of what? 99 cent. $7.99. Cent. Actually, these are, may not actually be the exact price of these items here. Okay, I think we're done with this product business here. Let's see what we got. Okay, not bad. Yeah, I got them, not bad. So I'm gonna go underneath. So we we'll got here, what our product here. So I'm referencing my second screen. 
okay we're gonna have our pagination uh, we just have to copy it and drop it here all right okay but before that though let's let's still continue let's continue let's let's uh, wrap this off i'm gonna highlight all the product mm. and duplicate three four five six seven eight eight times and let's go back here and see what we got one two three four five six seven and eight all right not bad okay next stuff here is gonna be section container section container after section container what we got okay section holder we're gonna have our pagination the class here pagination uh oh that should be capital letter that should be uppercase all right we're gonna have a class of pagination and uh within that anchor tag that leads to set uh oh that leads to same page I'm gonna use this back arrow here wow okay first within that i think we have a div here with no class okay let's duplicate this about how many times yeah that should be five one two three four five and then within here it's gonna be one two three yeah that's it then last uh is gonna be the it's gonna be the footer class or the footer div the class of developer okay I think I put here develop by exec exexc but pronounced exec that's the name of my youtube channel copyright now I'm gonna do this stuff Ads and copy to get a copyright action. You can already see it. You can already see it right here. Uh, 2021. Yeah, I think we're done. Let's check it out here. Voila, perfect. If you watch this video to the end, I want to say thank you. And I really appreciate it, you bringing out your time to check the content. If you have not hit the subscription button, please do so. And also like the video. And if there is any comment you want to drop off for me on this uh, comment section below, please go ahead. Any way you think I can improve the video, please let me know. I will appreciate that. And I really hope that the video inspired you to learn something new. Or maybe there's a project you're working on and the content in the video kind of give you an idea of something. Also let me know. Bye for now. See you in the next video.